Welcome back. It's 12-12. In the Israeli war, negotiators are desperately trying to hammer out a ceasefire agreement as Israel begins its assault on Rafah. Trey Yingst has where negotiations stand right now. As Israeli forces intensify their attacks on southern Gaza, both sides are reportedly inching toward a new ceasefire agreement. CIA Director William Burns is in Cairo Tuesday, meeting with Israeli, Egyptian, and Qatari officials, trying to hammer out a new deal. The key elements would involve a pause in the fighting for at least six weeks and the release of the remaining hostages held by Hamas in exchange for hundreds of Palestinians in Israeli prisons. We're actively working for peace, security, and dignity for both the Palestinian people and the Israeli Israeli people. And I'm working on this day and night. Diplomats are hoping the six week pause will lead to a more lasting ceasefire, but there are still big sticking points, including Hamas's repeated demand that Israeli forces withdraw before the hostage release takes place. They've been constructive and they've been moving in the right direction. We want to get those hostages home as soon as possible, and that work is going on. And time could be running out. Israel is soon expected to launch a major offensive in the southern city of Rafah, where more than a million Palestinians have fled since the fighting started. With the Israeli military, under intense pressure from the international community to limit civilian casualties. There is absolutely no safe place in Rafa anymore, and the fear is that the, the number of people killed and injured might have again significantly increased. President Biden calling for a two-state solution as part of any broader peace deal, though Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says that is a non-starter. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yinkst, Fox 32, Chicago.